Welcome to Nodality, the node-based calculator. In Nodality, everything, such as numbers and operators, are nodes. So let's start doing some arithmetic. If I want to create a new node for a number, I simply hold my finger against the background for a moment. Creates a node. I say that's a type of number. With a value of 10, I can create another number. Let's say that's 25. And then if I create a new node of type operator, let's say subtract, I can plug these two numbers into the operator. And I do that by holding down on the node for a moment, waiting for the bell to ring and it to go yellow. I'm now in relationship creation mode. Click on my target. The same for the number 10. Click on my target. And we've now subtracted uh, 10 from 25. I can obviously swap the order of those around if I want to. So by pressing that button, it's now 10 minus 25. Another type of node is a counter node. A counter node increments itself as time goes by. So if I press start, you can see that jumping up quite quickly. Stop and reset. And I can link the output of the subtraction to the output of the counter. A new node of type operator. Let's make that a divide. Take the minus 15. Take the zero, the counter. Plug those two in. Go back up here, press start, and now it's jumping, it's counting back in units of minus 15. I can change these numbers around, obviously, so I could change this number 10 into pi. I could change that 25 into 180. And if I change that from a subtraction to a divide, we're now counting up in units of uh, one radian. So go back up here. Press start, and now we're jumping up. Well, actually, we're jumping up if I change that divide to a multiply. Um, reset that. And there we go. Now, the good thing about jumping up in units of one radian is that we can start drawing circles. We have some basic trig functions in Nodality. I can make an operator which is a sine. Operator, sine. An operator which is a cosine. Operator, cosine. Take the output of our multiplication, plug it into these two trig functions, and then pick another number which is going to act as a radius for our circle. So that's a type number. Let's make it 75. And then I'm going to multiply the sine and the cosine with our new radius. So here's an operator again. That's multiplication. Take the 75, plug it into there. Take the cosine, plug it into there. Do the same on the sine side. Uh, operator, multiply, link, link. And now we can just test it here. You can see everything incrementing in real time as we sort of step through. Stop and reset. Finally, I'll create a graph. That's a graph type node. Move that a little bit closer. Take those two numbers we have in here, link them to our graph, go back up to the counter, and press start. And as time goes by, that is drawing us a circle with a radius of 75 units. Nodality comes with a handful of other presets which are slightly more uh, complicated. So I can click over on our menu button, I can uh, pick on uh, loops, which is a sort of spirograph type picture. I can obviously drag the nodes around. You can see that drawing quite a pretty spirograph. I can go in and change these numbers as I see fit. Uh, let's change that to 10 and this to 30. Rather than going up and pressing the reset button up here and clearing the, the um, graph manually, there's a button in here which is restart counters. That clears down everything, so it clears down the counters and it clears the graphs, any graphs you may have on there. Uh, I can change this up to 25. Uh, again, go back over to restart all the counters. There's no limitation, so you can have more than one graph on the screen at any one time. Uh, we have some other presets, such as a um, square wave built up by different sine waves. That runs a little bit slowly, because it's, uh, it's got quite a fine resolution. Uh, any time I can pick on any node I don't like and then obviously delete it. Or I can 
choose to delete everything and clear it all down. And there we go back into our basic circle. And that's, in a nutshell, an introduction to nodality. Thank you.